when you have problems, if you can fight, you fight. You know, if you can't fight, you run away. You have no choice. You have to fight as hard as you can. For people who don't know, just introduce yourself and what you do. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Yan Lei, so I come from China. Uh, when I was 14, so I uh, go into Shaolin Temple, um, study martial arts. Then, 19, uh, I think, 2000, I come to UK, so now I live in UK for 20 years. Wow, so growing up in the area that you were born in, like, what was that like? To describe it to me, I'm from a city, I, I wouldn't okay. know what it's like, what's it look like? So I am grew up in uh, Xinjiang, China, Xinjiang. Xinjiang is the biggest province in, province in China. So have a lot of uh, mixed uh, people live together, Chinese people and uh, Muslim people. You know, we live together. So I grew up in the village. Uh, my family is quite poor. Uh, I got uh, th three brothers and three sisters. So I'm the youngest one, I'm number seven. So, uh, you know, that time I, I born 1970s. So, that time everywhere is poor. So, this means um, yeah, I live the village even more poor. Uh, you know, when you're poor, you will have trouble. <laughs> uh, because I live the village, um, someone, their family, when they lose things, they lose the chicken, whatever, they lose things, they will think uh, my family stolen because we're poor. So also because uh, I'm the youngest one, so you know, uh, no, nobody pay attention to me, my family, because I'm the youngest one. So when I grow up, I always have problems because people always give me trouble. So make me a um, quite angry person because they just uh, bully me or beat me. So just make me always want to uh, fight back, but uh, I'm small, so it's difficult for me. Basically, I grew um, up very tough place. Also, it's good for me make my character very tough. So when I want to get something, I have to fight to get it. It make my um, char uh, character even stronger. Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's funny you say family of seven. Uh, <coughs> yeah. We, we're so the Mulligan Rivers. There's five boys and two sisters. Yeah. So we're we're family of seven as well. Big family. Really? Yeah. And it's uh, <laughs> okay. It's an interesting dynamic with loads of fun, like competitiveness and like, I mean, me and Luke fought, fought, used to fight each other. And, but so being, being the youngest and it, where you were, were born and it being a tough situation, I like the way you say the tough situation made you tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you think that's the case with um, you have to do tough things and have a tough, like, tough life to become a tough person? <laughs> I, I cannot 100% agree with agree this, but for me it is because in China it's different. You invest your youngest one, probably your family give you more love. For me in China it's upset because when my brother beat me up, I can't beat him back because he older than me. It's, it's no equal. So it's me, my family, everyone can beat me. So I have to be quiet. There. So, but when, Someone from outside beat me. It's just making me, I cannot take anymore. I have to beat their back. Doesn't matter they're stronger than me or whatever. They're older than me. I will always fight back. So um, you can't say it's because situation is different. So make your character different. It depends your situation. So this situation make me, uh, you know, because I have no choice. Nobody listen to what, what you want to explain. So they beat you, you just, you just tell yourself, if he beat you once, if you, you take it, second time he will do again. You have to push yourself, go to fight. <laughs> yeah. So then, so you, as a child you, in your family, you were, you were getting beat by your family. Yes. So then when you were on the streets and you say you got into trouble on the streets, yes. you would fight back. Yes. It's, what was the situations like? Like just... Uh, a specific one? Have you got any that come to mind, like your first fight maybe? Uh, I, I, I really can't remember because when I'm young I have a lot because, because the reason is uh, I live in the village, you know, you, you got different group of people and 
um, and my family really poor. So they will pick up someone is vexed one and a small one. Uh, because I went to school quite early in China, usually you went to school is seven, but I went to school is five because nobody look after me. So I went to school is earlier. So people will, when you're weak, people will choose you because they got confidence. This is, you know, I got a lot of different this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, but uh, experience for me, more you uh, make yourself stronger or push yourself. Even you're scared, you tell yourself you have to do it. The more you do it, more people don't give you trouble. Even you are the youngest one in the class because they know you're correct. Yeah. So, and, and obviously being, being beaten at home and then and getting in fights on the streets. Is that what made you want to go into like Kung Fu and practices and sh the sh like was, was that why you started to look towards it? Uh, it's not uh, really because I get people beat me up. I want to learn Kung Fu. It's, it's not this, it's, this is not a reason. Uh, be before you in the village, um, seriously, you only want to get enough food to eat and not be hungry. You don't have a dream, you don't know what you picture, you know, you have no ideas. Every day you just want to have enough to eat, you know, have safe life. So I want to go to learn Kung Fu because I, when I grew up, when uh, it's become 1980s, so China is start to grow. And at that time you can see the film, so I watched the movie. And also, um, I don't like stay in the village. I told myself you need to get out because yeah, I just don't want to stay there. So this reason, when you poor in China, you only have you don't have much choice. Or studying really hard, going to university, or enjoying the army, or do martial arts. You only have tr uh, three choice. Um, for me, that moment, I only think I got this three choice. And also, I don't want to stay in the home because for me. Um, um, I can't say it's not, uh, not, not nice, but at that time it's not nice because I'm the youngest one, my family, um, nobody pay attention to me. Um, so you go outside, you got problems, so make you don't want to stay home, you just, you just want to leave. So this reason, I think the most reason is for me, I want to leave the home, then I choose the martial arts. I, I, I remember on your website it said that your your parents wanted you to go into education. Yeah. So so is that I think you said that's traditional. The, yeah. the in in China they want you to go into education and go yeah. for education. So you wanting to go to the monastery was kind of against their wishes. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> because when you child, you know, you 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 always don't listen to your parents. Not always. Sometimes you want to have war with them. You want to have war because you want to pay attention. For me, uh, my parents uh, really want me to go to university. But at that time for me, because um, you don't have the, how do I say it? Uh, next to you, the people, they don't, they have the same problem with you. So you will not think you want to go to university. And uh, also that time, you know, you don't have the, not really, not your family didn't really, really push you go that way. They didn't pay attention. They just, uh, how do I explain? Because my family is poor, they don't have the patience to lead you the right where they want to be. So if you don't, if you don't do it, they will be angry. What angry will make happen? They'll beat you. <laughs> so just make you more you get beat, more you don't want to follow them. So you say, I don't want, I want to go my way. Doesn't matter or wrong or correct, doesn't matter. You just want to do your way. So then you made the decision, was it at 14 years old to yeah, you yeah. run away to the monastery, is that right? Yes. So what, what was that experience like? So you, you, you leave the family, so you go to by yourself and uh, you see the world is open for you. You feel it's open. <laughs> uh, it, it's tough because when you go to Shon Temple, uh, you know, uh, you look like a you study martial arts, look like uh, you in the army. You, you wake up a certain time, every day you do the same lessons over and over again. So you cannot argue with your teacher. When they say do this, you have to do it. 
doesn't matter what you think. Nobody want to know what you think. You have to follow what they want, to, want, what they want you to do. Uh, in that time, I really hate this lie because it's not I want, but, you know, I cannot make my life go backwards. I don't want to go home. So it's using I have to push myself to stay. But no, I have to say it's best time for me because life sometimes no choice is the best choice because you have to do it. They give you give me that time give me strong discipline. So when I set about set set up my target, doesn't matter how long it will be take, I know this is my journey. I will get it. I will get it, you know. In some way it's good. It depends, depends your experience and it depends your situation, you know. So so in the when you was in the village, the you didn't have the idea of dreams. You were just thinking more about surviving. Yes. But then when you got to the temple you started to set goals for yourself. Did it change a little bit? Yes. You you, you become the when you go to the temple you study martial arts, then you start to understand a little bit of life. Also your age you grow, you know. Everything is change. And uh, uh how do I say it? Before you were angry, you want to fight with people, but when you learn fighting, you slowly, slowly you don't want to fight anymore because you want to fight someone they can fight. You want to have equal fight. You don't want to go to the street to do this anymore because you know you can beat him because he don't know any martial arts. So you will <clears throat> make you understand yourself more than before. So I've spoken to <clears throat> a, um, a few uh, Shaolin practitioners who are from the West yeah. who, went, who went to uh, Shaolin temples and they had to give everything up yeah. and it was this really tough process for them to like give up all their belongings and stuff yeah. because you came from a poor place was it was that an easy process for you to do like not having belongings and stuff you poor didn't mean you don't have anything here you poor you still have a sense you got a friend so when you go to somewhere you, you don't have a friend you have to make friend you know and you got your home food in this, in this, you don't have home food anymore so whether everything change, of course, you, you, you will lose a lot of things. But at that time, uh, I want to stay there. Then you have to conquer yourself because you, you tell yourself, I have no choice. I have to stay here. So then you will, then you will look up other people. You will see the famous fighter at that time. You know, you, they become your example. I can't say he's a hero. He's your example. You will see it. If I come to this level, my life probably will be changed. You know. So you will, uh, slowly you will not focus what you lose, you will focus what you have. Yeah. yeah. And so life, I know you said life was tough in the, in, in the temple, but yeah. like, what, what does an average day look like if you were to describe it to somebody? Tough life, it didn't mean it's really hard work. Tough life means you're very lonely, you every day, you don't have exciting things happen. You go to five o'clock, you wake up, then you go for a run. One and one half hour or whatever you run. Then after you you come back, you eat some breakfast. Then you start to the basic martial art, kick, punch, whatever. Every day the same things. Look, your life just look like in the jail, but you are, you got freedom. But look like in the jail because you don't have much choice. You did things every day similar, every day similar. So yeah. And what was the what was the practice like in terms of the martial arts? Like, what did a, a session look like daily? For example, when you do some kicks, um, you know, simple kick, five different uh, basic kicks, you will do all day, just over and over again. So you just feel. Sometimes you really close your eyes, uh, close your eyes. You ask yourself, why you do this for? Yeah. But that time you don't have, you have no choice. If you don't do it, the teacher will beat you, whatever. So you have no choice. You have to, you have to keep going, keep going, keep going. That time you think that way, but no, you think this is the way you grow. Simple, you know, you just, you just make simple, simple things sharp. It's become your weapon. It's good things to have. If you can't, if you want to be successful, you have to be lonely. <laughs> <laughs> for martial arts, you know, I don't know for other people, you have to learn it. Uh, for me, uh, today I do the interview, yeah, in the morning I know I need to go for a run. Because everything I prepare myself, I want to be locked sharp. So you have to, 
you do something, you put 100% effort in, then after you don't get the result anymore because it's your, it's your best. Same, you kick over and over again. You tell yourself, I did my best. It's all I can do. So you never think anymore. This reason, when you go to school, difficult to lose because you do the million, million time. So someone can take it, someone cannot take it. So I'm the person I can take it. When I look back, I have a lot of Kung Fu brothers. They look bigger, they're not healthy. They destroy your life because you can see the West, Western is the same. Some famous boxer, they stop fighting. The life change. Make Tyson, change. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy he changed back, you know, he be, be come back. But a lot of people not see him, they lost their life. They destroy your life. Their discipline go another way. They not drink alcohol. They stop training. They, they say, I need to drink alcohol. Yeah, they finish. They kill themselves. I love that. So, you, so I mean, do you, do you look to people like Mike Tyson as well, like in terms of their, as a warrior? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I, I like him because he's very talented and he works so hard because for heavyweight, he's very small. He's not very tall. It means he don't have, for body, he don't have anything better than other people. But he, he makes history, so he's really skillful, you know, really tough man. Uh, um, when I'm young, when I was young, so when the 1980s uh, in China, only you can watch every weekend, you can watch the boxing match, yeah. So he's, I really like him because he's very skillful. At that time, I want to become a boxer, yeah. Uh, also. I like watch the people fighting. Even I know I'm 50 years old, I still watch the uh, young, younger fighters, the famous fighters. For me, uh, learning is my life. Uh, I always want to learn because only you learning, you make you uh, um, brain, uh, brain f fresh. Also make you, your skill will be better because you're hungry. If you feel full, that's it, your life stop because you are the best. You don't need to learn. No one, no one can say the best. So for me, I always think I'm the student. So I like to learn with different people. I love it. I mean, Mike, Mike Tyson in particular is a big uh, inspiration to us. But I mean, athletes in general, like athletes in general, you know, somebody, when you look at somebody like Mike Tyson and the discipline he's put into his boxing training, mm. Do you draw similarities between that and the Shao, the way the is it the warrior Shaolin monks, the way they practice? Is it similar to fi fighters all around the world? How do I say it? In Shaolin Temple, Shaolin Temple, uh, they do have martial arts. It's hundred percent that go to martial arts, but the old traditional martial arts, yeah, they they're training really tough, but it's not really the martial arts is changing. You know, fighting is different. It's because. Same the mobile phone. First the mobile phone is so big, then slowly, slowly, you know, technology change, makes them more and more useful. But people say temple, um, when I say it, a lot of people will hate me because the martial arts, the Shaolin, Shaolin martial arts, at the moment, mostly just for health, not for fighting anymore. Because you, when you want to fight, you have to go to fight. You can't just train by yourself. You have to have the opponent, you know, to test your skill. If you, every day you train yourself, doesn't matter how tough you are. You just go train. You just, you just training hard. Didn't mean you are good. Didn't mean you are a good fighter. So um, in temple, yeah, people training regularly. They really they got some amazing skill. They're very flexible. They can do some things crazy. Use one hand, whatever. Standing, make the body, you know, one hand push up, whatever. But it's not fighting, it's just you, you conquer yourself, you challenge your body, you know. It, it, in China, called Kung Fu, uh, Kung Fu have different meaning, you know. Kung Fu, uh, some Kung Fu you can say for fighting, some Kung Fu just for challenge yourself, uh, some Kung Fu just for performance, a different kind. Yeah. Uh, as, as yourself, once you'd um, practice, I don't know if you can answer this, had you, once you'd done practicing it as a, uh, a warrior monk, had you got into fights afterwards? Like, did you manage to use the stuff you'd practice in competition or...? Yeah, um, because when you stay temple, temple, you can't fight in the temple because temple is a Buddhist temple. You have to go to outside, uh, you know, to enjoy other team to go to the fight. Um, um, 
you do, uh, I do can use some traditional skill to, when you fight, you try to, but you have to change them, it's your experience. Uh, first, you have, first, you have to learn the boxing, kickboxing, the Thai boxing, they're very direct, just for fight. The traditional martial arts, they're different, therefore, uh, <laughs> build up your flexibility, make you have a strong foundation, uh, different angle to, to make your body change, you know. Um, it's not straight, straight forward, just go fight. So when you learn the uh, traditional martial arts, you have to have the experience to make the traditional technique become modern technique, yeah? To creative some sense, to mix with um, boxing, kickboxing, whatever, judo, you know, wrestling this together become your own style. The Chinese, Chinese people call it essential. The essential, everything can call it essential. Essential because mix everything together. You can say mixed martial arts. Uh, in China, you also can call it essential as well. It's for me, not for other people. For me, uh, it's, it, 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 it is this. So, um, how do I say it? Um, no, I'm lost now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Uh, for me, uh, because when I'm young, uh, I like fighting, so uh, when I learn the martial arts, I want to challenge myself. This reason I always go different martial arts school to learn different fighting skills, uh, to set up my mind, set, my, my, set up myself to go to different competition to fight. But most time, uh, when I'm young, and most time I'm lose. <laughs> Because um, you know the China, uh, China when you do the central fighting different, they uh, they win by the point most time. So they touch you, they got point. You know I'm not this kind of fighter. I'm I'm I just want to lock you out. Is is my character? Because uh, I'm small, I'm heavy. People are all taller, so they use one jab or one long distance kick. They can get me away. Yeah, I'm so knowing for these things. So this is the reason I try to practice the body conditioning, this kind of strong training to take a punch, you know, take kicks, then to try to push myself to to go forward. Yeah. So in, in, in Temple, is it <clears throat> is it okay to I get a sense that you enjoy fighting. Similar like someone like Mike Tyson who's trained his whole life, he wants to go out there and compete and fight. Do you enjoy fighting? Yes, yes. yes. I, I I like a fighting because how does it look like a dream, you know. You think you are good. When you go do it, not true. Yeah, you look at that person not good. But when you're fighting with him, you can't beat him. Yeah, to make you more humble, make you don't judge people easily. You know, you 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 um you learn from your mistake. You when you watch it, then you know what mistake you make. The end of the day, doesn't matter who teaches you, end of the day is you teach yourself because you learn from your mistake. Nobody can teach you. Yeah, this is the reason I like uh, fighting. You will know I'm 50 years old, I still watch the people fighting, you know. Uh, then I, I try to learn, I try to find the mistake, you know. Uh, it's good, I like, because it's giving something uh, for me. Martial the soul, you are, you are, you can, you can be fight, you can become a good fighter, yeah. It's I like because it's real, but in China, <laughs> when you say you practice kung fu, didn't mean you can fight, it didn't mean you are a good fighter. Yeah, they just for performance or just for health. Nothing about fighting. Uh, for me, if you want to be good martial arts, you have to be good fighter. So you was given the name um, Lee which tr translates, I believe, this, I, think, I, think, yeah, yeah. I think, to thunder. Yes. Is that to do with the way you fought? Or is it, is it no, nothing to do with it? Or is it your, ma your master gave you that? Name? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's my master gave me his name. But I think suit, suit, uh, this name suit for me because uh, it suit my character because I'm young, nobody pay attention to me. So when I'm learning the fighting, most time, I'm lose, yeah. So I tell myself, 
it just didn't work hard enough. Yeah, when you want people to know you, you like thunder. People will know you. So you always, uh, uh, I tell myself, you don't have any luck. You have to work hard. You make yourself sunny. People will see you because you are the lights. People will find you. So this, this is my character. So I still know um, when I'm 50, I still push myself training. Um, I can't say every day, at least I train six days a week because I got a dream. Yeah, it doesn't matter which my dream or not. I enjoy the journey because I know my life never go wrong because I got a target. Yeah, I focus my target. Um, um, I don't know when I will reach it, but I know I will not lost my discipline because I got a target. I love it. That's so applicable to everybody. Like even a bit in business, like that is so yeah. applicable. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask you was, what is uh, Shaolin? Is it Qigong? What does it? What does Qigong mean? When you do the physical, for example, when you do the when you when you do the uh, push up, squats, or you do the weight lifting, okay, you just use your body, yeah, use your body to creative, make your muscle bigger, what make your muscle tough, whatever you're doing, but. Uh, you never practice your organs, yeah? You never try how to make your lung better, how to make your liver better, how to make your kidney better. But Qigong is try to focus inside your organs. But the, of course, you also use different movement to make your lung, your liver, everything open, make circulation move properly. For me, the martial arts, the Qigong is martial arts, not separate for me, it's all one sense. But, <clears throat> you know, the life have different kind of people. Someone work really hard, someone don't want to work really hard. So <laughs> when people don't want to work hard, they choose something, they think they can do it. Qigong is not, they don't, they don't need, you don't need to have stamina, so you can do it. Yeah? You don't need to be strong, you can do it. Yeah? So this reason people choose the Qigong. But, for me, it's not Qigong not strong, it's you are not strong. You can do Qigong very, very strong way, but you don't know how to do it because your body is not strong. Yeah? For example, <laughs> if you want to change your body, you have to work hard. You do push up, you make your arm strong. I say push your hand as hard as, as you can. Yeah? But you don't have strength, so you can't push hard. It's limited, so it just means you can't open your body. So for me, you need to mix it together, yeah? Physical, you train your body, you use the body. You train your body, you use the body, and you look after your body. Mix together. People go to gym, train their body, use their body, finish. They don't do anything, look, they don't look after their body. So this reason, when you're young, you're fine. When you're older, you got trouble. If you do lifting, uh, lifting weight a lot, and after you don't stretching, your body will be stiff. You must go up, but you're stiff. When you're older, your life quality dep not depends how much muscle you have, depends on your organs how strong, and depends on your body how flexible. Yeah, depends on these two important things. Yeah, after, of course, your strength is also important. Because you lose your strength, your joints are very weak. Yeah, but the other two is important. Not that you have a lot of muscle. When you're old, when you look at people 90 years old, they, they don't have muscle, correct? They're lost, yeah. But if you can lose the muscle, but you don't lost your flexibility, you don't lost your organs, this makes your life can go in longer. Talk about strength. Um, I've seen some of your demonstrations online um, yeah. where you have big sticks broken yeah, on your yeah, body yeah. and. How, how do you train for that and what, what's a demonstration supposed to represent? I'm, I'm seriously, I'm not training for breaking that sticks. This is for performance. This is the easiest thing to do, uh, break sticks, because you, number one, you choose a stick that can break. Some stick you never can break, they're so tough. So it's performance, just say your body uh, tough than normal people. It didn't mean anything for me. I'm practicing this is for when I'm young, I practice for fighting. I can take people punch kick me. Yeah. When I'm old, I practice for circulation. Yeah. So when you use the 
uh, stick or whatever, bamboo brush, metal brush, bit your body. It looks like a massage that makes your circulation move. Yeah, for me, um, for me, when people kick me, kick my leg, when, I, uh, when I'm teaching students, when I have long distance run, I always after let my students kick my leg because for me, it looks like a good massage for me. Sound looks like a joke, but it's true. For me, I can make my leg feel better because circulation moves. Um, yeah. How oh, you don't mind me saying there's a few, you've got a few scars on your body. Is that through practices of... Uh, no, when, when I'm 18, uh, 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 I'm working a um, nightclub, um, you know, my first job. Because, number one, when you go to temple studying martial arts, you need to pay money. <laughs> okay, not for free. Yeah, maybe you teach him for free, but you need to pay your food. So I need to get the money, so I need to go, I go to the uh, nightclub. My job look like uh, I click money, when they finish, I take the bank, it's my job. So nobody know me, I'm just in the corner. So it's from a uh, street fight, so it's knife, uh, because, uh, you know, it's a long, it's long story. Uh, uh, for me, everything happened for me, I always tell myself, Anything happen, have a reason, you know. That day don't make sense. One day will make sense. For me, that makes sense for me is because, um, you know, life, you have problem, you have problem, you know. You can't always, they didn't kill my confidence. It just happened. I can't make me learning, you know. Uh, when you have problems, if you can fight, you fight. You know, if you can't fight, you run away. You have no choice, you have to, fight as hard as you can. So that fight is really, really hard because people, they, they follow me. They know where I'm going. They track me in the wrong restaurant, knife, bottle, everywhere. So they got maybe 15 people. I'm one. So, so I'm, I, I didn't kill me. They, they, that day they wanted to kill me, but they didn't. That for me is, uh, um, you know, People uh, like the monk talk about the Buddhism. Sometimes I don't like this because if you life have no story, what kind of experience you can teach me? You stay the monk, you stay the temple all your life. Even you don't know people uh, work so hard to get food. Sometimes you think this man, you know, he's no respect. He just beg people money. You don't know how tough before his life. You can't judge them. You can't say this to, to them because you don't know them, don't judge them. So, uh, you know, some people, they, they always think about the monk, they can talk good Chan Buddhism. For me, it's, no, not everyone. Some, yeah. Uh, you, I, I, I see a lot of famous monks, you know, um, most time before they married, they got a tough life. It means they got uh, suffering, they, they, they understand life. So they learn from the mistake, they learn from the suffering. They, I believe them, if they talk some sense, I believe with someone they say they stay temple, since they turn, it's just shut up. You don't know the life because you don't need to worry the food. People give to you because people respect you, you in the temple, you know. If you grow your hair, <laughs> put your normal clothes on the street, you try to make 10 pounds, I guarantee someone they can't make it. They're worse than people beg people money even because they don't want to lose their face. Anyway, I think it's talk too much for this. No, no, I love it. I, I love it. I think it's so true. Life, <coughs> life's really tough. Like yeah. life is really, really, really tough. And uh, so, I mean, that day, did you, like, how close was you? To, you say 15 people attacked you. Yeah. Like, was that, and tried to kill you? Just tried because... Did they get close? Uh, I can't say because everything happened very quickly, you know. In five minutes, everything happened, you know. It, it just because I'm the fighter, I know people follow me. So in my heart, I prepare myself because I know I've been with people, people, what code, they, 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 what to say? They surround you. Surround you. Yeah. you know, you feel it. You know it's time, you have no choice because you have to tell yourself that time you are not a human being, you are the animal. You, they want to kill you, you have to 
take everything you can do it and try to beat them quickly run away. I, I'm lucky I just uh, most injured this is this arm here and here broken my arm broken. It's a funny sense and uh, when, when, when this arm broken so I think this arm is finished but most time when I'm trying to fight all my left hands lock people out not my right one. <laughs> Do you think that your uh, Kung Fu practices and your discipline saved you that night? Like, w Do you think you would have been... Like, yeah, I think, it's, 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 of course, my Kung Fu and the discipline, also my character. And tough, you know, you, you, you have no choice. You tell yourself, you have no choice. I mean no choice, it didn't mean bad thing. No choice mean you have to give everything you can because you have no choice. Only you give everything you can, the result you don't care anymore because it's all you have. Is that, is that the way you, you live your life now to work towards your goals? Like you, have no, like you give everything you can? Yes, because I said, um, you know, I come to this country when uh, 2000, I come, come to this country, I make DVDs, I have no money, but I tell you, I, tell, I said before, if you sh if you signing, people will come to you. They said, I can help you. I can film me for free. Because you work hard. People see it, you know. They want to help you. Uh, this is my character. Then I make DVDs, I write in book, I make a movie by myself. Everything I do my, by myself. I do online editing by myself. Be I can't edit I don't know how to edit Then, not editing. <laughs> Stamina, you know, you don't need editing, don't need to cut, 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 one goal, straight away. Uh, it's for me, life don't need to be that tough. But for me, because I said, it's because I, my background make me thinking that way. Yeah, everything, um, I need to prepare myself. Prepare didn't mean, uh, pr for me, prepare is give everything you can to make yourself ready, yeah? Uh, uh, now I'm stop teaching um, group people, uh, even I also um, don't teach one-to-one -one often. Um, but I focus teaching online. I want to tell myself, maybe I'm not best teacher, but I want to be, yeah? This reason I wait to make myself become best example for that moment yeah because uh, uh, <laughs> I tell my students if you want to learn some skill with somebody you know um, fighting skills don't look at the past don't look just look no yeah if someone they say they're good you look at their body <laughs> they changed it means they lost the discipline Okay, then it's no good example, yeah. But you still can learn with them. But tell yourself, it's his no good example. You learn something you want to get. Don't judge them. Just learn something you want to get from them, yeah. So for me, um, <laughs> this is my character. Everything I want to do it, I want to give everything I can. I love it. What are you working on at the moment? What's the like projects you're looking towards and your goals? Uh. <clears throat> Oh, I want to do a lot of things, uh, you know, before I talk about Shun, you know, you said I, want, I still want to make a documentary film, uh, you know, uh, uh, for me, I want to become students again, uh, because when I'm in China, China that time very close, it's, it's, I didn't see any martial arts, Mo most I know is boxing, yeah, every Saturday I can watch boxing, this is the reason I know uh, you know, meditation. <clears throat> so when I come to UK, so I see the karate, taekwondo, boxing, Thai boxing, jiu-jitsu, yeah. Open my brain. I know Yen is just beginners. So now, so I, even I'm 50, I still want one day uh, I can travel the world, go to the, learn with some, with some famous fighter, learn with taekwondo people, you know, boxing people, 
Jiu-Jitsu people, Thai boxing people, you know, to learn, not just learn. I want to test myself, have sparring or fighting them. Yeah, I think it's life's most importance can keep you going is you learning. Wow. Okay, I love that. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, it's for me. So it's big motivation for me. Uh, every day to push myself to training, because you got a dream. You have lots of things to do. You can't be old. <laughs> One of the things I think um, that surprises me with the the Shaolin Temple is the way you talk about having a dream and having a goal and like being ambitious and wanting to work towards it um, aggressively. And I think a lot of people, when they see the monks, they think that they're just quite placid and relaxed all the time, and they don't have goals. Like, is it so? Is it okay to be ambitious as a as a monk and have goals to work towards? Everyone different, yeah. It's, it's, for me, life. If you enjoy your life, if you happy with life, is fine. For me, uh, it's different because. Um, uh, because I teaching. In West, I teach a lot of students. So for me, um, I want to be a good example. I want to open more door for them. Uh, I have a lot of students that become personal trainer. Someone become stuntman. Someone open a school because they see me. I did, you know. And the people always use age to to excuse. Age also is one can excuse to stop themselves. Say, oh, I'm fifty. I'm sixty. What's wrong? You're sixty. What's wrong? You're fifty. Yeah, that doesn't matter. You know, if you think it matter, when you're eighteen, is 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 problem. You say, oh, I'm eighteen. I cannot do gymnastic. I'm too old. You know, someone start from five. You know, you, it's excuse. It's you desire is not enough to conquer you. Excuse, yeah. For me, uh, discipline is not really strong words for me to. Uh, describe my journey, because reason is you have to from your discipline, you stick with something, you keep going. The must bring happiness for you. You cannot describe to other people what happiness is. Yeah, if you really really unhappy, this discipline is not work. Discipline make you even more happier. Yeah, then that time. You don't need discipline. It's your habit. It's your uh, even not say willpower. <laughs> It's just、uh, the in your blood.、Mm. You want dig it. For me, I want dig it. I want to see how long I can go. I'm fifty. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm sixty. I want look. I'm fifty. Yeah, I'm good. When I'm seventy, I want look. I'm fifty. Same. I want challenge. I want to give people example. When one day people say, "Oh, look, I started with Shifu Yanli. He's seventy now. Look, he he's still same." Yeah, I want to change people's way to make the excuse. You don't know if you strong, if you set up your target, you focus your journey, that will bring long longer happiness for you. Yeah, short happiness is very easy. You get drunk, you happy. Five minutes. Another day, you say, "Fuck, I shouldn't do this because." You know, you 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 don't like yourself. Then, trust me. One week later, you forgot. You repeat again. This means your life. <laughs> you cycling. You never go anywhere. You just sit the same place. You didn't go. Same. You go to gym. Use the bike. Yeah. You you didn't go anywhere. Yeah. It's not good. Example. I just mean you just circle around. You didn't go anywhere. Because you scared to change, you know. People say,、uh, "I, I don't like my job." Hey, excuse you, work for twenty years. If you don't like, why you do it? You scared to broken the button. You scared to change because you don't know if you change what happen. So this reason, most time, you kill your dream, you kill your direction, you killed. It's not someone kill you. You did. Love that. That was amazing.、Um, one of, one of the things you talk about is being happy and like the journey you, you've you've found happiness. I think we I, I would use the word purpose. Like you found your purpose. Like you 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 enjoy what you do. You love what you do.、Mm. Um, and I remember with the Sebastian documentary,、yeah. um, you said I'm so happy that I found this, but I did have regrets of of sacrifice, like not meeting family, like not seeing your family and stuff. Yeah. 
is does happiness and the journey and and finding your purpose does it need to have sacrifice like that like friends and family no uh because it's for me it's, uh, it's difficult because i'm living in the west my, my parents in china uh, this is situation makes things happen um uh you you, you don't need to be like this, yeah. Uh, but when I'm 50, when you're older, I'm guaranteed, for me, okay, my friend will be less and less, not get more and more, because I know who is my real friend, who is not my real friend. And now I also know which meeting I need to go, which meeting I don't need to go. Also the party, people have party. I know which party I want to go, which party I don't want to go. So you more and more, uh, you got more and more time for me. Before, people say, I'm very busy, Shifu. I don't have time. You do got time. You got, you got time to drinking. You got time on the phone. You know, now, especially for now, people, when you open your phone, since you lock some things, you will not stop. You will keep going. Then when you lock your watch, half hour is gone. Or one hour is gone. You know, what do you learn? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing on your body, yeah? I'm not saying I'm better than everyone. I'm the same. Sometimes when I look at phone or look at fighting, I say, it's good. I keep going. I realize I don't, I, I didn't learn anything. I just make me excited. I look like I, I do something, nothing. Now I tell man, you can't do it anymore, yeah? So I'm, when I watch the fighting, I watch, I write him down what technique I like. I turn my phone. Close. Then I'm trying to movement. I'm keep going after I in my world. Yeah, everything on your body is belong to you. <laughs> everything not your body not belong to you. Same you you buy the house, not belong to you. One day we will be somewhere else. You don't know who on that house anymore. <clears throat> what does your daily routine look like nowadays? Uh, my daily routine uh, usually uh, uh, I will run six days a week. So uh, when I'm wrong, I will run um, 10K, between 10 to 15K, I'm wrong. Because for me, uh, I like it because it doesn't matter you're happy or unhappy. You go wrong, in, in the wrong, you will be happy. This, <laughs> this is my fe feeling. When I'm unhappy, I go for a wrong. When I'm happy, I'm go for a wrong. Yeah? To clean my mind, to make my body fresh because you take fresh air in, you, you know, Bad air off, your body is clean. Then, my, it's always started this way. Then after, I uh, will do some uh, studying, reading book, Chinese writing. Uh, the afternoon I will training again. You know, I also I got daughter, so sometimes I pick up my daughter, I spend time with her. Uh, uh, um, you know, rough like this every day will be similar. Or sometimes if I filming the online class, when I'm filming online class, I'm in the office all the time. So I'm in the jail again. I just when I'm doing things, I'm look like crazy. I'm just want to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going until I got the result. I'm finished. That's yeah, like this. So we have a uh, office back in Nottingham, and that's what it's like. Like we we don't leave the room, do we, Luke? Until it's like the job's yeah. done, we just keep going and keep going. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think there's something to that every day looking the same, you know, like I think to achieve success, sometimes you have to do the same thing over and over again for a while until you achieve it. Yeah. It, it, what's, what's the biggest lesson you've learned in terms of becoming successful and what, how you define successful? Like what's the biggest thing? Successful for everyone have different meaning, you know, for me, successful is I got a dream, uh, it's me, I got a dream, I didn't let it go, and I have direction. So every day, I tell myself, you need to go, you need to get your dream, you need to get your, um, <laughs> uh, get your target. So more I'm doing, next day I don't want to do it, I tell myself, you need to go. More you do, more you close. You know, same the traffic, you know. When every car stop, Everyone worried, start worried. Since car moving, you will not worry. Even if moving very slow, you know you go somewhere. 
Yeah. So for me, um, life most time we got trouble. It's not most time happy. Um, you know. So when you have the problems, you have to try the way. If you can't deal, if you cannot change, you have to let it go. You have to focus something you have, not always focus something you don't have. You know, I want to reach my dream. It's for me, um, I got lots, lots of sense. I want to make documentary. I want to go, you know, to, to learn different martial arts. Uh, also, at the moment, I set up my company, you know, Yanli. I want people to see my name, Yanli, they know it's for health for training, for conquer yourself. If, if people were um, trying to support you or trying to find more out about you, where's the best place to go online? Very easy, just Yenli, then you will find my website. <laughs> so on, on YouTube you do like online classes, um, yeah, and you do yeah. cooking, I saw some cooking stuff on there as well, and like yeah. health and well-being and stuff yeah. as well. Because <laughs> I, 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 it's so strange, you know, when I teach some people and uh, they say they're married, uh, got a wife. Uh, when, when you see they eating, when you say they're cooking, you just think you, you just look like a baby. You know, because I'm from China, you know, I come to West. I can't eat the Western food sometimes, you know. Uh, the fast food, McDonald's, KFC, burger, uh, fish chips, uh, all rubbish. They just they make your body really hot. Yeah, make your body have fire. You 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 think you got something? It's not real food. So uh, when I come to this country, I have big trouble for eating. I damage my body. Can you imagine? Even I cannot how strong I am. What before even I cannot work in five minutes. I have to stop, sit down because I eat so much rubbish food. I training too much. I eat so much rubbish food. Then I tell myself, Yanli, you have no way to go. Learn. So I start cook by myself. Cooking is not difficult. <laughs> cooking is easy uh, because you need to put your heart in. Everything you put your heart in, you will enjoy it. So I like cooking because I know exactly what I eat. You know what sense in my body. Yeah, I don't need to rely to other people. It's the reason I can go anywhere. I tell people, I do a lot of workshop. I said. Don't find a hotel for me. Find one bedroom flat, have kitchen, I can cook. Yeah, I don't need to go to a restaurant. I don't need to do this. It's good for cooking because well, I like cooking, because cooking looks like a meditation. Make you, you make some things together. You mix something together, makes it nice. It's quite a creative sense. I just feel, uh, you know, when eating my food, Give me a lot of energy to training. I'm happy. I'm a very simple man, some way. Yeah. I love it. And every, I mean, everything's going to be linked down below so um, people can find exactly yeah, yeah, where yeah. to get your stuff. Um, that was fantastic. Yeah. It was really, really good.